what I'd like to do is uh, be a part of the vast network of people in the field who are helping to cure and prevent Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Mike Weiner is director of the Center for the Imaging of Neurodegenerative Disease. He is a pioneer in the field of MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. The center specializes in brain imaging. We develop MRI techniques in this laboratory. So this laboratory has uh, physicists and engineers and computer scientists and computer programmers. And these individuals develop new and improved MRI techniques. They give better resolution and better contrast can be accomplished more quickly and give more information. The goal of Dr. Weiner and his colleagues is to use MRI to improve the diagnosis and treatment of neurodegenerative diseases and conditions. Neurodegenerative simply means the death of neurons, brain cells. The brain is made up of gray matter, which is where the neuronal bodies are, the nerve cell, the main body of the nerve cells. Uh, and the gray matter is uh, kind of like a big sheet around the outside of the brain. That's where you really do your thinking. Then there's the white matter, which is underneath the gray matter. The white matter is really the wires, the connections between the nerve cells. Then there's the cerebral spinal fluid, that is that there's water in the brain, uh, which is in certain cavities. There are many types of MRI, and they all reveal different things about the brain. Structural MRI shows the structure of gray matter. Perfusion MRI illustrates blood flow. Diffusion tensor imaging is a picture of white matter. Susceptibility weighted imaging shows where iron is in the brain. MRI spectroscopy tells about the presence of various chemicals. A major focus of Dr. Weiner's research is Alzheimer's disease. In particular, how to identify its presence in the brain before it develops into a devastating illness. How you find it in somebody who's 60 years old or 65 who has mild complaints and maybe a family history and they wonder if they've got it. So we're working on trying to identify risk factors and trying to predict who's going to really develop cognitive decline and convert to Alzheimer's and who's not. A number of potential new Alzheimer's drugs are currently being developed. When they're finally ready to be tested on patients, Dr. Weiner and his colleagues will use MRI to help determine if and how the drugs are working in the brain. The pharmaceutical industry has invested three billion a year in trying to find drugs for Alzheimer's disease. And what they need is good ways to show whether or not their drugs work. And our MRI techniques are very useful for that to show how MRI techniques can be used to monitor the progression of the disease. The Center for the Imaging of Neurodegenerative Diseases is home to many other important research projects as well. Post-traumatic stress disorder and Gulf War illness are especially seen in combat veterans. There is a condition called mild cognitive impairment, which is in many cases an early form of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, we study normal aging, so we just uh, take uh, subjects who appear to be completely normal of different ages and study them, and then follow them and study them again. Uh, so we have a comparison group to the disease populations. Parkinson's disease is a very strong area of interest. Epilepsy, we have a big funded grant on epilepsy. Lou Gehrig's disease is another uh, project that we study. Vascular dementia, which is uh, people who have dementia or cognitive impairments related to strokes, is another one. Frontotemporal dementia is another form of dementia, which is different than Alzheimer's or the others. And that's characterized by apathy and uh, unusual behavior associated with cognitive impairments and memory loss. In 1982, Dr. Mike Weiner established the first laboratory in the VA system devoted to nuclear magnetic resonance technology. A generation later, he and his fellow researchers helped lead the way in MRI techniques and applications. Uh, you know, in science, it's um, one of the most important things you decide is what is it you're going to work on and you want to work in an, in an area that's going to have some impact, that there's going to be some results and it's going to be important to people and Alzheimer's disease is such an area.